right guys welcome back to my channel to my brand new classroom i am so sweaty just bringing stuff into my classroom still um i have been waiting for the custodian to get this out it belongs to the other teacher who used to have this classroom but she is moving to another building on campus so they're supposed to take that out and then this table and those things on it all of this stuff is hers and then these two chairs so i've been waiting um, honestly like a week for them to get those out but they have not so i brought in some more things i've got two boxes here which are ikea like tv stand things which i am going to put together and they're actually going to go underneath my whiteboard right here and i've got the doors for them the shelves are in the wagon I've got the legs, which this is not all of the legs. There were supposed to be like 12 of them. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I got my chair that I need to put together. I have all this I need to organize. But honestly, I'm kind of tired of waiting for, look how sweaty I am, for the custodian to get those things out. They're taking up so much room. So it stresses me out trying to like organize around it since it takes up so much room. So instead of just waiting and waiting and waiting, I am just going to start putting everything together and organizing everything now because I don't want to run out of time. Um, our district is still doing summer school and I don't know if there, I don't know if this campus is going to be open for so long because I'm going out of town and I just, I don't know how long this campus is going to be open. I know it's not going to be open every single day of the entire year. Um, so I just need to start getting stuff done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by honestly putting this shoved up against the door. So if anyone walks in, they know like, Hey, we should get it out. I already put the chairs over there because they were stressing me out, but this one I'm also going to shove over by the door. And then I'm just going to start off with the desks and kind of fix this whole situation so what I planned was that I'm gonna have like three rows of six coming this way so they're not attached to the wall you can walk that way but three rows of six over there and then there will be a walkway and then three rows of six here but I don't know if my classroom's that big so we'll just have to see how it works but this is I don't even know what day this is honestly it's probably like day five but I've just mostly been dropping stuff off. So maybe it's day two or three. I don't know. Let's just start and actually get it set up instead of just dropping stuff off and leaving. So here we go. Let's do this. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like a Wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone and I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a Okay you guys, so my original plan of like six rows of six, three on each side of the classroom Is it gonna work? My classroom is not that big So I put in the first row and obviously it's just rows but there are so many desks here so we have one two three four five six seven so we have eight desks here so if i stopped at six it would be right here and that's all we have left so there's no way i could fit another six on that side plus have a walkway so i just don't know what i'm gonna do it's so stressful <laughs> like i don't know i guess kids are just gonna have to be in rows because there's no way we could do groups that it's just not enough room even this feels like, I don't know, not claustrophobic, but like if a student is sitting here in the middle, they have to walk through all those people or all these people just to get to the middle. But I guess I might just end up having four rows of eight. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know what the actual 
numbers are gonna be for my roster, but from my understanding, it's gonna be like an average of 36, so we could have up to 40-ish, I would say, so we're gonna have to see what to do. I have a smaller classroom now than I did at my previous school, and I have more students on my roster here than I will at my previous school, because my previous school was continuation, so it's alternative ed, so we really, like had an average of 25 and then I like the maximum amount on my roster would be like 30. I remember one year I had 35 but that was my own choice for ASB and nothing else but <sighs> more desks, smaller classroom. <laughs> this is tough. I have to figure out what to do but it looks like right now we're just gonna have to end up doing rows because I don't know what else to do. It's just there's not enough walking room in here. So I guess we're doing rows. Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you should have been you Another time, another place, I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let you go mm, Sometimes I just don't know what to do Cause it should have been you So I organized a desk and honestly there was nothing I could do. There's just too many desks and the class is too small. So they're just going to be in four rows. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do to make them fit. So I decided to just jump into um, building up one of the cabinets that I bought. So this is what I bought. It's from Ikea. It's the Besta cabinet and it comes in different colors. So I have two of these that I get to build all by myself. So this is the color I got and they're so cute. Um, so I get to build these and I'm gonna do my best to just build both of them today before I leave and I know that's not a lot to get done. Honestly, what time is it? It's like 3 o'clock. It's 2.30 and all I did was organize the desk and they were already in rows so I really didn't do much and it's been a few hours so I have a lot to do. So I'm just gonna get started. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time so let me just go ahead and start building these. Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you should have been you Another time, another place I just know
Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. This table's leaving. I put all the standing desks over there. There were three of them. I thought there were four. Um, I just shoved everything by the door that needs to go out that doesn't belong to me. And then things I don't want, like those chairs and things. And then this table I don't want either. So I'm hoping someone comes by and picks them up. I'm gonna email the office manager to just kind of confirm, like, can you please send one, someone over? So I'm just sending these out, but I got these done. So there's two here. So this is one and then this is two. And then our giant TV goes here. I'm thinking of actually getting another cabinet. And then the TV I'm gonna probably slide behind my desk. I don't really know yet. I just don't like it here because I don't want it to block the whiteboard. I use a whiteboard a lot but yeah this is what it looks like we got the chair built I moved to the desk over here gotta throw that one away but these are the desks there's so many you guys I think I put 40 out I think there's 40 or 39 I can't remember but there's definitely a lot and then I need to get more of these plexiglass shields so there was one on every other desk so I just put all the ones with plexiglass shields in the front and then the second or the last two rows don't have any so I'm gonna ask the office manager if they can set those up too and then I still have to do the bulletin boards I need to decide what I want to do with them in terms of like paper so I have this paper over here I just don't know what which ones I want to use so I have this one which is that white wood and I want to use this but I feel like everybody's using it these days and I don't want to like overdo it you know and then I got this one which is just like butcher paper type of stuff parchment paper and I really like this one but I don't want it to be too plain since the walls in general are very manila and plain and then this right here is a rug that I got and this is pillow fort from Target and it has a tiger on it and that's actually going to be laid out in front of these cabinets so, yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. I can't wait to actually get all the stuff out that I don't need and kind of organize all this stuff better because this I don't like there. You have to like squeeze through the desk. This is gonna go behind my desk, somewhere over here. And then I'm hoping to get a long skinny table to go right there. And then the bookcase will go behind me. So that's my plan. Just, I don't know if they're gonna have a long skinny table or not, but. First thing, just need to get all this stuff out. Table, desks, chairs, all those library things from the previous teacher and then her cabinet and stuff on top. So once all that's out, I'm gonna feel a whole lot better and it's not gonna feel so claustrophobic and squished in here. But yeah, 
That's what it's looking like so far.